Hi, my name is uh, Patrick Devils. I'm the Regional Project Coordinator for the Caribbean Large Marine Ecosystem Project. Uh, the Caribbean Large Marine Ecosystem Project is a quite complex project. It works with more than 20 uh, GEF eligible countries. It covers two large marine ecosystems, the Caribbean Large Marine Ecosystem itself, and also the North Brazil Continental Shelf Large Marine Ecosystem because of the important influences of the flows from this ecosystem on the Caribbean. We do follow the typical uh, GEF procedure of working through a transboundary diagnostic analysis and strategic action program based on the findings from the TDA. Um, but within the TDA and due to the complexity of the region, instead of making one single analysis, we have split up the Caribbean into the three ecosystem types that support the most important fisheries in the region. So we made a TDA for the continental shelf ecosystem, another one for the reef and associated ecosystems, and another one for the pelagic ecosystem. This idea was inspired by the fact that if you look at the collaboration mechanisms that are needed, the countries that have to participate in the management of the resources of these different ecosystems, the countries that collaborate on this are different from e for each ecosystem. So we did find that it was worthwhile to split up the region and to work on these ecosystems uh, separately. Besides that, the Silimi has also worked with a battery of case studies and pilot projects. If you look at the case studies, the case studies were meant to complement the information that uh, was obtained uh, for the TDAs. The TDAs mostly looked at already existing knowledge and in that process from time to time we detected that information was lacking. So the, uh, the case studies could help filling the gaps where the TDAs found that some information was missing in order to be able to clearly identify what were the most important actions that should be incorporated in the strategic action program. We also used a series of pilot projects, so you could try at the local level already some actions of which you believed that they would be very helpful for improving governance and management of the living marine resources in the ecosystems. So the lessons learned and the best practices identified through these uh, pilot projects then allow to better identify the optimal actions to be incorporated in the SAP and that will ensure that when you do the bigger investments through the SAP that you will get the biggest possible return on your investment. These are some of the important lessons uh, from the CLME project. Maybe uh, just as a last point an additional challenge for the CLME that was that Within the ecosystem, you do have a large amount of GEF eligible countries, but you also have other countries who also make use of the shared living marine resources, which are not GEF eligible. So that's quite a bit of a challenge, but it is, however, important to try to also involve these countries in the work you do so that they also commit to the implementation of the SAP. Uh, one of the ways that gradually these countries can be brought into the project activities is also through the case studies and the pilot projects. As with the case studies and the pilots, you go more into the field, you get specific activities which can trigger the interest of these countries so they become uh, more integrated in the activities of the projects. Uh, I hope this is helpful for all our colleagues working on international water projects. Thank you very much and success with your project. Yes, I need